guys, I am JA Studios Joe, and this is part one in my videos of how to make oh god, go away um, a stop motion video in Cyberlink's Power Director number 12. Um, that I know number 13's out, so what you want, uh, but I don't care. Well, but what you want to do is click on the icon which says um this um full feature editor and then you once you're in the environment uh what you do is uh you click import and then what you do is assuming that you don't that um you're not using any effects digital effects which have been added to your movie which I have for this one you like need to just like load all your pictures in and then control uh, click left click then you drag them all into the timeline and you that just wait until they're all in and then what you do is you click duration you want to put that down to zero then you put that up to two because uh, one is just really fast and then you're gonna wait a little bit and then you're gonna click slideshow no 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 just found that out slideshow and then what you do is you just do everything see if it's okay um, uh yeah looks okay um so i what you'll want to do is you want to like save it to your desktop let's say desktop in an easy to remember file or just call it tutorial stop motion one yeah I will delete this file eventually um, and then what you're gonna want to do is click produce wait for that to load it can take a while and then the file format uh, you'll put into mpeg2 mp4 or mp4 file unless you like um, Oh, what was I going to say? Uh, what happens is you like... Mm. What was I going to say? Uh, so you like... Uh, M Unless you don't have a player for MPEG-4. I think um, the default player for MPEG-4 is like Apple QuickTime. Uh, even though the .mov file format is um, more QuickTime. The default application for this is QuickTime, but then you could use VLC Media Player or Windows Media Player for that. Um, you're going to click Start. Well, I've already actually um, done this, so you're going to click Start, and then it's going to take like a f um, a d it depends. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, well, th I'll show you how this uh, happened, and now uh, you this one uh this is part one of my new animation which is coming out soon so yeah as you see that's what you do after you've produced it <laughs> yeah you see i did some paint effects there and then there's the car effect yeah so that's uh basically how to make a stop motion animation part two will show you how to make it uh more effectively and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.